What's up guys? I trust you are well. Pascal 12 is back again for another video about how to build a Revit family. If you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on my new videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hexagon head bolt Revit family. We will start by opening the bolt nut Revit family that we've created in the previous video and modify it to make a hexagon head bolt Revit family. Then we will use the dimensions provided according to the British Standard 3692, as shown from the table on the right hand side of your screen. We will only create three types, which are M10, M12, and M16. Let's get started. Open Rivet, then search and open the Nut Rivet family. Next, let's temporarily hide this element by pressing HH on your keyboard. Go to the reference level, select the element, then click Edit Extrusion on the Ribbon option. Select the circular shape and hit Delete on your keyboard, then accept the changes. Next, Let's create the simple bolt body by using extrusion. Draw a circular shape, then select the newly created shape and make the dimension live. Open the property parameters and we will reuse and rename the whole radius parameter to bolt body radius. Then using the British Standard 3692 table on the right hand side of your screen, update the parameter values accordingly. Once we are happy updating the parameter values, click apply and ok, then click the check icon on the ribbon menu to accept the changes. Next, go to the front view, select the newly created shape, then drag it downwards as shown. Drag the top one, then align and lock it to the reference plane. Next, we will add the horizontal reference plane by copying one of the horizontal planes downwards. Add a dimension from top of the bolt head reference plane to the newly created reference plane. Then align and lock the shape as shown. Next, select the dimension and we will assign a family parameter and let's call it bolt length. Since the table do not show us what's the B dimension, I'll put something for now, say 100 mm. Then, we will update the M10 and M12 type parameter values according to the BS3692 table, and we will put some random values for the bolt length for now.
Once we are happy with the parameter values, click apply and OK. Next, we will assign a material parameter to our bolt body. Let's create a new parameter and we will make this a shared parameter. Create a new parameter and we will call it bolt body parameter. Make sure to select material under type of parameter options. Oops, looks like I have it already created when I was doing some test prior to creating this video and forgotten to delete it. In this case, let's use that one then. Next, let's go to the Family Types Parameter Ribbon Menu option and we will give material value to the newly created bolt body material parameter. Let's duplicate this one and call it bolt body material. Click apply, OK and another OK. Let's have a look a bit in 3D view. I kinda like it, but I want to add extra detail at the end of the bolt body by adding a chamfer. So I will delete it, and this time I will be using the revolve create option rather than the extrusion. Add the vertical axis line. Create a rectangular shape. Then align and lock the edges as shown. Let's add a dimension, select the dimension, and we will assign this to a parameter called Bolt Body Radius. Next, draw a line in 4 to 5 degrees. Clean the corner by trimming the extra lines. Then add dimensions as shown. Select the dimensions and we will assign this to a family parameter. And let's call it Bolt Corner Chamfer. Next, we will update the chamfer value to 1. Give it some test to make sure that it is working. Once we are happy with the update, click the check icon on the ribbon option to accept the changes. Then let's give it a material. Then go to the 3D view, and it looks much better now. Give it another test to make sure that it is working the way we wanted it to work. Oops, the bolt body disappears when I change from one type to another. What I'm gonna do now is to delete the other types that are not working properly and duplicate the one that is working, then update the parameter values accordingly. 
for me to easily remember the other tax parameter values, I'll take a screenshot of its properties. Go to the 3D view and give it another test. Now it's working perfectly and we can now save the file. Please take note that we haven't checked the share checkbox on the family properties. Kindly support my YouTube channel by smashing that thumbs up button. Also consider subscribing and turn on the notification so that you don't miss out on my new videos. Have a great day, God bless, and thank you for watching.